Hey guys, it's me the Don Fanatic and welcome back to part 3 of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Egglock run. In the last episode we swapped in our tokens for some eggs. We hatched the following. Lance the Dratini. Uh, Luchette the Horlucha. Awesome the Cypher. And Minchino the Minchino because I forgot to nickname it. And that is our team for the time being. So, this episode, I am hoping we will be able to take... No, we will be taking on Roxanne, because there isn't too much I can do other than take on Roxanne. But what we can do first, in the hope that we get something that can really benefit us in this gym, is go catch two new Pokemon. So that is what we are going to do, and let's see the sign. What's, what's crossed out? Time-saving tunnel nearing completion. That's what it says in the sign, but it's also a big X. Splashed across it in red paint. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stick Lance back on top, even though I just swapped him over, purely because it has it has a Thunder Wave, and we can Thunder Wave whatever we find. Let's, I was going to say let's get this item, but apparently not. Pokemon we can catch on this route is a Zigzagoon again. And what level is this Zigzagoon, you ask? It is level 8, so that's very nice, it's going to fit straight in the team. Let's Thunder Wave this thing. Don't do much, please tackle. Wow, I've done a lot. Six Lagoon is too strong to start off with. Right then, and I reckon a wrap around this thing, and then we can proceed to probably catch it. So let's do that. Oh, of course I missed. Oh, well, that was just the most pointless turn you'll ever see. Is it going to happen again? No, I hit wrap this time. That's fine. What's that going to do? Absolutely nothing. This is the bulkiest zigzagoon around. Move over, Joey. Your Rattata is no longer the top. This Zigzagoon is. Right, let's catch this. It might be holding a berry, which we can use. So, let's chuck a Pokeball. I still have seven, so that's plenty enough. And can we catch the Zigzagoon? One, two, a three. Yes. Oh, I, I thought I got ahead of myself there. Didn't think we were going to catch it. Right, we call Zigzagoon. Do we go trade it in now, or do we go and proceed to catch a Wishma from the uh, Rust Turf Tunnel? I think that's what we'll go do. Oh, look at these levels. Oh, Tickle, for God's sake, Minchino. Who sent me in Minchino? Who thought that was the good... Who thought that was a good idea? Huh? Actually, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I am going to go swap the... Oh. I, I should have picked the item up as well. I am going to go change this egg for a Pokemon, purely because... We, or it might get some level, no, we'll get some experience from all the battles I have to do uh, to get over to the cave. So this is a bit of pre-gym grinding, I guess you could say. Oh my god, grinding is going to be a, a hell if I need to do it, but I doubt I will. Purely because uh, every time I've played through this game, which is three times now, I've been over-leveled every single time. Right up until the Elite Four, so actually I might need to grind before the Elite Four, but we've got, we'll have the uh, victory road to grind in. By then, oh my god, seriously, who thought it was a good idea to put deposit on the top spot? Jesus. Right then. Box 2, we've picked one from. I'll pick the the very first egg I got sent. Is what I'll pick. And this will be level 8. Whatever it hatches into, it will be level 8. Oh, can't be something good. Be a water type. Please. Ground type would be nice. Especially offensive Pokemon would be even better. Oh, an Amaura. Oh, that's nice. Ice is good. Kind of. We will be weak to this gym leader. Hey, I hope it has Refrigerate. No, we'll have Refrigerate. That's what it has. Would you like to give an nickname to the newly hatched Amaura? Oh, no, I meant to click yes. God, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. Um, let's level you up to level 8, and then we'll have a look at Amaura's stats. It might be a nice modest nature. And hopefully, it, I don't know if it can get... Oh, no. Oh, oh my days. This is just all going wrong. All right, I'll put Amara to level 7 to make up for that. Because I didn't mean to do that on Minchino. I think that's a fair trade-off, right? And, well, you guys can't really do anything about it. I didn't really mean to do it, but... What? My Amara is obviously a physically offensive Amara. Because my special attack is not as good as I thought it would be. Oh, there you go. Again, nice plus 2. What? So do we have a normal move on this thing? I sh I'm sure it'll have something like Power to Snow. But hey, we have something that can hit on the special side now. What are you? Oh, or not. Or it can't. Plus defense. Power to Snow. Thunder Wave. We're two Thunder Waves now. Jesus. Um, 
Yeah, it's not bad though. I'm not too upset by that. Aurorus will be helpful. Not really for the first two gyms. Maybe for the third, not for the fourth. Not for the... Possibly for the fifth. Yes, it will for the sixth. Seventh, probably not. Actually, to be honest, it's not really going to have benefit in any of the gyms. So now we have that. We have a repel, which I could chuck up. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. You, you're going to have some bugs, aren't you? I'm going to put a Maurer on top and give it, a, give it a go. I do like its cry. And I do like Aurorus, actually. Dude! Did, guys, you just saw that, right? He turned around to look away. And then he got the exclamation mark above him. Like, how does that even happen? You weren't looking at me. All right, let's go for some powder snows. I resist your tackles. It's a shame Rock doesn't resist Rock, I don't think. So, uh... So... Uh, I can't resist any rock. I'm going to be weak to rock. <laughs> Another rock weakness. Brilliant. We can baby doll eyes with um, Minchino. That priority attack lowering stuff. Dude, th there is no reason to string shot my Amora. I am a slow sack of whatever the hell dinosaur I am. But these tackles are doing nothing. Powder Snow again. I'm waiting for him. I'm pretty sure it's Ninkada. And that's the only reason I wanted to use this thing because Ninkada's ground type. So I just wanted to kill it with a uh... oh, nice down, nice experience, Amara. Ninkada, there you go. Hopefully, Amara grows level eight. Be actually at the level what it was meant to be at, rather than me using my rare candy on Minchino by accident. Scratch can do nothing. Oh man, the bulk of Amora, Amora. Oh my, I'm just calling it different things now as well. Consistency, Jack. Consistency. Where is it? Oh, I need like. Pound or I, I'm pretty sure this thing gets takedown. That'll that'll be good. That'll do lots of damage. Lots of damage. Because refrigerator gives it like a 30% boost as well, doesn't it? So that's a dead Ninkada. Yes. Why can't this thing start off with tackle? I'd really help. 79 experience. Ah, oh, so close. Silcoon. Okay, I'm just gonna go into a Luchette to finish this thing off. Everyone's gonna get experience anyway. In before everyone levels up after this. I've actually had that before. My whole team has leveled up after one Pokemon. As in, they, by coincidence, all had the right amount of experience to level up at the same time. So that's when we attack this thing. It should kill it, right? I'll find out, I guess. What am I just going to do? It kills it. Perfect. I should probably put Luchador back... Oh, Luchette back on top. Not quite level 11. I'm more a good level 8, which is good. Oh, and that was it. Okay. I was completely wrong saying that I thought everyone might level up there. Let's put Luchette back on top. As soon as it loads up. Whereas there's a guy over my chop on this rush. I should battle him. Everyone's level 8, apart from Minchino, who's level 10. And this thing. I, always, I keep on forgetting whole Lucha's name. It's terrible. Right, let's battle this guy. I'm pretty sure he is the Machop. Is this Youngster Joey? Oh my god, it is Youngster Joey! He's a Zigzagoon! Okay. He couldn't have a, he couldn't have a Rattatar, I guess. So, Youngster Joey does appear in this game. I wasn't sure if he did or not. That's cool, right? Karate chop this thing to death. Watch ah, yes, dead Zigzagoon. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure he has got a Machop as the second Pokemon. But as you know, I have nothing to hit it with other than Luchette, so I'm gonna have to stay in with Luchette. Roost. Ooh, yes, please. Ah, what do I get rid of? Detect could have been helpful. Oh well, we'll have Roost. Roost could be helpful because it'll make us lose our flying type. Does fighting resist rock? I don't know. I'm trying to think how much stealth rock damage uh, Horlucha takes, but I've never tried using it competitively, so I don't know. Machop, here we go. I still want Dratini to hurry up and learn Dragon Rage purely because it's overpowered in the first few gyms. Well, first few, like, you know what I mean. First few bits of the game. Wing attack, that's a dead Machop. That is a dead Machop. Holich is OP. It's a very good Pokemon. A very, very good Pokemon. Mainly because it doesn't get an evolution, so it starts off really strong anyway. Awesome good level 9. Pursuits. Well, it's a physical move, and you do get a technician boost from it. So let's. Let, yeah, forget Leer. Focus Entry could come in handy with some critical hits. Why not? Awesome learn Pursuits. So you defeated Youngster Joey. Ouch, a scrape. I had to put on a bandage. No, your Zigzagoon is meant to be in the top percentage of Zigzagoons. Come on, Joey. Oh, item. You know, I'm just going to spray that repel that I have. Uh, oh, and then Carter, hey. 
Luchette. Do I spare this? I'm going to spare this Ninkana's life. Because it would just straight up die to a wing attack otherwise. Right then, where's this repel? Where is this repel? I, the sooner I buy more repels, the better. Uh, in here somewhere. There you are. Repel. One repel. Let's go. Did I really, when I went back to Pokemon Center, did I not heal up? Did I not heal? Before I came back over here. Right, let's battle this woman. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. How about no? How about I completely wreck you and your Mariel? And when I say wreck you, I mean in the lesbian way. Whatever that may be. Right, this Mariel, you're a fairy type. I can't karate chop you. Well, I can, but it won't do much. So let's wing attack. Probably will kill still. Hopefully. Oh, wow, it didn't. Okay. Bubble. Oh, my God. No, Luchette, you're going to die. Okay. No speed drop. Very nice. You're a dead Mariel now. Could have probably used something else against it. <sighs> Posing Mariel fainted. Very nice. We're now going to test out our power against Geodudes because there's a few hikers on this route with Geodudes. So I can test out some uh, things before I do go on to get uh, Battle Roxanne. May receive received $160 for winning. Very nice. Right, where are these hikers? I need to battle one. There you are. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then just go over the top. But but Game Freak block that from me, so I can't do that, I'm afraid, Hiker Clark. Geodude, let's see. I'm pretty sure Roxanne's Geodudes have Sturdy over Rockhead, which is a shame. Rockhead would have made it a lot easier. We are four levels higher, and it's Stab. I know he's got a pretty good physical defense, but this should do a lot of damage, right? It kills it. It just kills it. That puts, a, that puts me in a good mood for the gym. Oh, nearly level 13. Geodude again. Don't have sturdy. Please. Alright, let's go for the karate chop. He will this one will have sturdy. Just cuz. Oh wow. How can that Okay, that's just put that's just put me in a bad mood again. Or like a, a, a bummed out mood again. I could hone claws, I guess. Yeah, I could hone claws. But I don't want to lose all my speed and then be outsped by a freaking nose pass. Although I doubt even at minus two it'll outspeed me. It's 13, level 13, Luchette. Very good. Um, rest your team. Okay, no one else grew. I defeated you. I'm going to have to probably buy more potions as well. Don't let me forget that. Do not let me forget that. Um, I think there's an item up here. There should be. Yeah, there is. Let's get it. Special attack. Well, it would have been nice if I had a special attacker other than Maura. I really wanted the war type. Hang on, do I have... I was going to say, do I have anyone who can fly? Yes, I do. For when I get a fly HM. Oh, no, wait. I can just use my Latias and Latios to fly around. Right. What's this? A Pokeball. Perfect. I just need to find a Wishma now. Hopefully, it's a high-level Wishma. Let's see what we can find. Anything? Right. We have found something. And it's in before Shiny Wishma. Well, well, I could dream. And I should have, like, led off with Dratini or someone. Level 9. That's, that's, that's nice. That's very nice. Um... Amara, you're, like, resisting his hits, so I can thunder wave with you. Get some damage off. Could probably powder snow and not kill him, actually, but... Echoed voice. That's going to be a problem. Because that's just going to do more and more damage each time. Let's go for the thunder wave. Am I faster? I am. The massive, lanky dinosaur with a huge neck bigger than itself is, is faster than a tiny little... Ball with massive floppy ears. Let's powder snow. Shouldn't kill. Should not kill. That's a game. Think about it. Take your time, game. Work out the mathematics in your head. See, I did nothing. I actually did nothing. Right, I reckon I could chuck a Pokeball at this. We still have six Pokeballs, even if this fails. I'm pretty sure Wismer are normally tricky. Well, they're tricky for me to catch anyway. They're normally. What? Ugh. I spoke. Wow, he's been, he's been paralyzed three times in a row. Now, watch me get a critical hit on this powder snow. Just when I don't want it. Okay, I didn't. It's good it didn't. Might have killed it. Echoed voice. Well, you finally broke through it, dude. Nice for you. Right, let's try again. Wishma, stay in the Pokeball. You will be doomed to a life, eternity, life, whatever, if, of the box. But one, two, three, caught. Cool. Hooray. Finally. You tricky little... You tricky little so-and-so. Did anyone grow it? Yeah, awesome. Grew level 10. 
And you're still useless to me because you're not going to be helpful in this gym. I don't even know if it gets aerial. Where do you get the aerial ace TM? You probably get it from Winona. Oh, no, you get Roost from Winona. Oh, I don't know. Where could you get the Roost TM? Not Roost. Ace. Aerial ace TM from. I have no idea. Right, let's uh, skip through that bit. Oh, I've run out of repels. No. We're going to just have to fight our way through back to uh, Rust Borough. Oh, and, and then, oh my god, we have the gym to take on. Right, Luchette, we're just gonna we're just gonna kill anything in our path. Let's kill it. I don't care. I know there's gonna be uh, trainers in the gym, but I need to get as much experience as possible with this massive rock weakness I have. Hey, Lance, we're level ten. No Dragon Rage yet. Disappointed. Disappointed, Lance. Oh, I know running boosts your chances, but come on, let me get away. Right, Luchette, right chop again. I'm going to sound like a broken record soon enough. And it's a dead six again. Getting lower and lower each time. Low level, that is. Nope, no one grew level that time. I just want to get to the gym and battle them. Is there a trainer school here? There is, isn't it? And I believe it has a quick claw. So give you... Oh, that was a ski. Nah, I'm just going to ignore it. Just ignore the skitty. Hooray, we made it. Right, let's go back. Let's go to the pokey school first, because I love to procrastinate. No, I'm kidding. I think it's next door to the gym, isn't it? Let's go in here. I mean, items, three items are good items. No, you trade, like, something for a Makuhita, don't you? That would be handy right now, too, for the gym. Where's this school? Where is this school? I believe it's this building here. Yes, this looks a lot more school-like. Let's try this one. Yes, let's talk to the teacher. I don't think any of these kids battle. I think that's the fourth generation high school I'm thinking of. Well, they give you the TM for uh, hidden power, I believe, as well. Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw, you see. Whether or not you're a good student will be the evident the way you use this item. And we obtained the quick claw. Now, do I have any slow Pokemon? I don't actually think I have any slow Pokemon. I think Amaru would be the slowest. Um, quick claw could be quite handy on Hall Leecha, though. If they're going to start spamming Rock Tomb. Never mind, let's 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 do this. Have I healed? I don't think I have. Oh, we're gonna talk to Roxanne anyway. Hello, you must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne of the Rustborough City Oh uh, wait, I the Rustborough City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle all that I've learned in Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up this challenge. I will look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Yeah, I don't think I healed. I went straight to the school, didn't I? Yes, I didn't. Uh, oh, wait! I can trade. I can swap Wishmer in, can't I? That's what I need to do. Let's go trade Wishmer in for our last hurrah at getting a grass or a water type that can do some damage. Something with Icicle Spear or Water Shuriken. Actually, I think only Greninja gets Water Shuriken, doesn't it? Um, whatever, multi hit. Bullet Seed. That'd be nice. Helpful. Anyway, to take down them sturdy, annoying Pokemon in this gym. Let's see what we get. I'm going to go to the very last box. Because I've taken two from the other so far. There you are, Torchic. I miss you, buddy. I miss you, Torchic. Let's go for the first egg up here. See what it is. Now, I believe this is the one Pokemon Battle sent in. And he was very tempted to tell me what it was, but I told him not to. I guessed Fanfi. Is it going to be a Fanfi? Because that'd be nice. That'd be that'd be a good switch in. It's an Anorith. Okay, this might be the one Sizbit done. Because he also told me he was he had an Anorith egg. Ah, I know what he told me about this Anorith. I definitely know what he told me about this Anorith. But it's another bug type. God damn it! It's weak to weak to rock. Um, what can we call you, Anorith? Armaldo would be pretty cool. Um, Armaldo Armadillo. It, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Arthur because you're like Arthur. The Ar no, that's he's an Ardvark. God damn it! <laughs> Not of whatever this is. This is a Trilo bite, isn't it? No, that's what Omanite is, isn't it? I have no idea when it comes to fossils. Um, what can we call you? I don't know what to call you. I'm gonna call you Nips because I can't think of anything else. My imagination is just gone. I think if this is Sizbit Pokemon. He said to name it after him, so I did say I'd remember which egg. I'm pretty sure that is Sisby. If it has Aqua Jet, I believe it is. 
Yeah, it's got Aqua Jet, just like I said. It's got Aqua Jet and Rapid Spin. Nice, and Scratch. Okay, Aqua Jet could be nice in this gym. And he's adamant nature, so he's obviously been breeding for the competitive scene, has Miss Sisbit. So I'll change your name to Miss Sisbit when I, uh, wait, Miss Sisbit, the male, yeah, okay. So that Wishman was level 9, wasn't it? So let's get this up to level 9. And notice how I managed to click the right Pokemon this time, and none of the others. Mud Sport, no thank you. I think it learns Mud Slap, that could be quite handy for this gym. Rock Team's already pretty inaccurate, so the more the more it misses, the better. Water Gun, that that helps too. That helps. Stick that ahead of Harden, I guess. Could have got rid of Rapid Spin actually. I wouldn't use that. I'd probably use Harden more than Rapid Spin. Two more levels for Nips or Sizbit. I should probably get in the hang, the like the swing of calling it Sizbit. So I have Water Gun on a lovely like stat of 12 special attack but water gun is quite effective so it's going to do do good damage right then guys this is the this is the i'm dreading this gym one because it's the first gym two i've got such a huge rock weakness which is not the best definitely not skipping these trainers definitely not so luchat just needs to get as many levels as possible really let's find out what we can do don't take us gym trainers lightly i'll show you why we're better and I'll show you why you're a complete liar and why you should never lie. You're challenged by youngster Josh. I see you, Squirtacular, trying to take me down at the first hurdle. Well, I'm pretty sure this might be your egg. I shouldn't know. No, it was the first egg I received. What was the first egg I received? I honestly can't remember. Karate Chop, kill this thing. Oh, is that sturdy? Yep, sturdy. Okay, how much is a rock defense girl? That's fine. That's fine by me. Hopefully Roxanne has the same stupidity level as this kid and just dies to some Karate Chops. Plus Karate Chops got a really good critical hit ratio, so just ignore all them hardens. Dude fainted. 90 experience. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's going to take a while to level up. Oh, Rock Throw. That's nice. Nice coverage. Dude again. Please have Rock Head. No sturdy. I hate... I hate why, how they changed 30, and I love how they changed 30 at the same time. They made it useful, but they made it really annoying. So it's annoying when it's on their side, and it's helpful when it's on your side. So this Geodude was a babe and had Rockhead. Thank you, Geodude. Level 9 Geodude died to one Karate Chop. Interesting to note, Machina grew level 12, and you learn nothing useful still. You are too good for me. May received $144 for winning. I can't evolve Minchino yet, can I? Because Chinchino evolves with uh, Moonstone, I think. Right, let's battle this kid. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Welp. What's your name? Are you Youngster Tommy? Okay, so we've got Mr. Pyrotoz here. And you're going to fail. Your G dude, please die to this Karate Chop. This is a good test. Level 10. Pretty sure Roxanne's like a level 11 or 12. Let's see how this does. It's enough to take it out in one, but Sturdy, because Sturdy saved it. If it just lived on one, it would have said, Tackled. 5 damage, that scares me as to how much a rock throw slash rock tomb would do because it's stab and super effective I'm going to have to play mind games with that roost although, yeah, 46 speed, holy moly so at minus 2, I am going to outspeed them still, aren't I? that's if, uh, well yeah, I, yeah, minus 2 right then Oh, there's one more trainer. Okay, let's battle this girl. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. This is... This is the gym, not the school. I'm confused. Challenged by Yunks... <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to tell you a story about a girl called Georgia. There was a girl I met on holiday called Georgia. She put her hand down my pants. Very romantic. Not. Um, and then my brother came walking up to me. I was like, hi, Jack. I'd like to point out we were drunk at this point. And my brother just came over while uh, this Georgia girl was uh, pleasing me. Probably you didn't want to know that story, but good experiences with, with Georgia. Very good experiences. We're, good, we're, good, we're friends. We're friends still. She doesn't live too far away, so, uh, you know, booty cool and whatnot. Right. No, no. Let, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's the first time I saved, actually. So hopefully episode... I checked episode two hadn't, like, like failed recording or anything, so I shouldn't have saved. It's force of habit. I normally save for the gym leader in case I get angry and then I can just rage quit and start again. 
Oh man, this recording better not fail on me, otherwise I'll be mad as hell. Let's see how this goes. No, I'm just gonna Orenberry back to full, because I am that kind of kid. I can also give him an Orenberry, I get. No, make him hold one. Give him the Orenberry. We're set. Let's go. That big old fossil in the background. Just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon. Well, Roxanne has turned up her swag mode to levels to over 9,000. And I'm going to take you on, bitch. You are challenged by leader, Roxanne. Leader Roxanne sent out Geodude. Right. Do I hone claws? Do I attack? She only has two. I could have sworn she had three Pokemon. Okay, this could, this could be less scary than I thought. Okay. Karate Chop. Let's go. Are you going to be sturdy? Or are you going to be Rockhead? You're going to be sturdy? Oh, wow. It didn't... Didn't even, like... Oh, it's neutral. It's neutral. Oh, I have nothing to worry about. Right, so she's going to potion. It's not even going to put it back up to full. So Sturdy is not going to activate again. I have an Orange Berry. All right. Right, guys. I was I was panicking over nothing because apparently I don't know my typings. Thank you, Fighting Type, for resisting rocks. I love you. 153. Anyone else going to grow some levels? Awesome is going to grow to level 11. No one else is going to grow a level. Nose pass. Okay, you're going to have Sturdy too, aren't you? You could have Magnet Pull, I suppose. Level 14. Two Karate Chops should be enough, right? Because Nose Pass is bulky. As you can see, Rock Tomb. I will be faster. Still at minus two, I believe. And that's done less damage than uh, Geodudes. I have nothing to worry about. Karate Chop again. Still faster. That's a dead Nose Pass. Thank you, we beat Roxanne. I had nothing to worry about. And Luchette's overpowered. Even for the next gym. Because it's Fighting Type Gym next. And, well, Flying Types. Twister! Um, what moves do you know? Find a way of dragging down extreme speed. Rap. Is stab. Um, yeah, we'll forget rap for it. I'm happy now. It's an offensive move, so I'm happy to, to do it. <clears throat> and learned Twister. I'm at level 11. This, this is what I like to see. Everyone growing levels. We defeated Roxanne, so I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. May received $1,680 for winning. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. And so we have our first badge of the Egglock. Good going guys, I like your eggs already. May receive Stone Badge from Roxanne. Stone Badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also obey you. And please, take this with you. Rock Tomb. Who can learn Rock Tomb? I can probably teach this to half my team, I imagine. The move Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but it also lowers the speed's target. If you use a TM, that instantly teaches the move to the Pokemon. You can use a TM as many times as you want, so please try it out. Okay, guys. I would say it's the end of the episode here, but I just remembered what little detail we have after this gym. I say we go and do that straight away. This Ace Trainer is just, like, blocking me. Hello? Out of the way. Move it. I've only just noticed how, like, the little pointy bit of the speech mark moved with him. Wait! Please! Don't take those parts! I'm gonna give him a really camp voice. Oh my god, how slow can you run? Oh no, he stopped. Okay. See, look, this is how you run. That's speed. Oh, you there. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Acquired to get the Devon parts back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Right then, I say we get some screen time, so some Pokemon that haven't got any, or very little. No, not Restore. I should probably just use the Touch. Yeah, there you go. Everyone's level 11, or 12, or 14, and 9. Actually, that didn't really help, did it? They're all around the same level, which is nice, but Anarif needs some more. So, all stick Anarif on top. No, Taylor, go away. Oh, look at me running through the grass! I was going to say I'm not finding anything this time, but... We did. We did. So, Wishma, do you fancy dying? Today, to Anarith. To be honest, I just fancy you. Oh my god, his eyes are creepy! Sisbit, you're creepy. Why? Why are you so creepy, Sisbit? I hope I'm calling it the right thing. I'm pretty sure it is Sisbit who sent this egg in. Um. 
I could face these trainers up here as well. But I don't think I want to. I don't want to teach cut to any of my Pokemon. Hey, Mr. Briny. Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on our walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by an odd thug, and then this scoundrel made off of my darling Pico. Where are you? Pico! I have got this voice acting stuff nailed. Like, and if, if I, by, by nailed, I mean I'm absolutely terrible. What? Are you coming? Come on, you want some? Come on, get some. <laughs> if you don't know what that's from, that was probably the worst impression of it, but if you don't know what that's meant to be, then you obviously live under a rock. Or you're in America. It's like a meme of some ginger guy at a football game saying, You want some? I'll give it ya. I'll give it ya. You got no fans. Off topic. Nips, take down this Poochiena. It's level... Oh my god, it's level 13. Okay. Um, well, Nips, you did get some screen time like I promised, kind of, I guess. I don't want to use Luchette because I've just used it all video. But I don't like where this is going. You know what? Let's see... I'm rock type, so I'll resist the normal type move. Aqua Jet, how much does this do? Nice priority, it doesn't do much. Odor Sleuth. Well, that was completely useless, because I'm pretty sure that just lets you hit ghost types, doesn't it? I know it's I know Foresight does that, but I'm pretty sure Odor Sleuth does that too. Uh oh, he's setting up on me. He's setting up on me! These howls are scary! However, if I can live two moves, Aqua Jet can just finish this thing off. I'm pretty sure Anarif has a decent... Uh oh, how much is this going to do? Oh my days, that done way too much. Good job that... A crit would have actually killed me as well. I'm just going to go into loot check because... I do not want to lose this bit so early. He'd, he'd be so mad. He would be so mad at me for dying. <laughs> Bite. That's not going to do much. Thank you. Even at plus one. No flinch because obviously I didn't attack. And wing attack. Through a bit of a mix up in moves here to kill it off. When do I learn flying press? That's what I want. Completely destroy Brawly. Ah, oh, we're level uh, 15. Oh, I just realised. You know, I know I said either this episode or last episode, Luke, this thing won't be so helpful in the third gym. But there's steel types. Oh, but it'll have it'll have sturdy. Why does everything have sturdy? Nips wants to learn Fury Cutter. Okay, well he can learn that because he needs a stab move, so we'll forget rapid spin. Ta-da! Nips have got Rapid Spin and learnt Fury Cutter. The rest of your team gained EXP points thanks to the EXP share. Machine Grin 13, you gonna learn anything? Double Slap! Okay, that benefits from Skill Link. So I'm happy with that. We'll forget Tickle. Attack and Defense. Baby Dolls, Doll Eyes is just attack, but it always goes. But it gets priority. But Machino's fast. We'll forget Baby Doll Eyes. Double Slap is gonna be nice on this thing. It's gonna do a lot of damage with it. I should probably use it more. We defeated Team Aqua Grunt. Uh -huh. Is this the end of my evil deeds? May receive f generous team. Wow, I should join Team Aqua. They obviously pay well. This plan is not right. The boss told me that it would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devon. <laughs> you want them back that badly, then take them. So we got the Devon parts. No bad guy in the world would just hand part, hand back the parts. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lass. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so it's May now. Then I sincerely fa I've already spoken to you before, dude. Outside the cave, and outside your house. Have the courtesy to remember my name and recognise me. Please. Ah, never mind. Right then, guys. What I'm going to do here is end the episode. And in the next episode, we will head down back to Rustborough, talk to uh, some people who we are meant to be introduced to, uh, probably take on the second gym, to be honest, because there isn't much space between the first and second gym. Spaces are a bit more evenly between then, so not too bad, really. Um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Hopefully I hatched your eggs in this video. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.